So I'm, I'm happy to say that I am back home in the UK after spending quite a bit of time in the Alps in Switzerland and France and some time in the US. It's nice to be back on home turf and I've just come at a perfect time because autumn right now is about reaching its peak and that's what I'm doing. I've come out with a friend of mine, Nathan, who to be honest, I don't know where he's gone. He's disappeared into the tree somewhere, but we've come out for a couple of days. Uh, not much of a plan, to be honest. Just explore a few locations, look for some images, shoot a bit of video, you know, a bit of camping, a bit of camper van, a bit of everything. It's just nice to get away. You know, I don't even care about photography, which I always say and always sound stupid, I know, but you know, we're just walking on this fairly remote fell. Uh, no footpaths, no guidance, literally just following our senses, looking for compositions, looking for interest, waiting for the light. And it really is a fantastic way to spend your time. So after grappling with my tripod and setting it down in position and then moving it and resetting it, I uh, finally got myself a quite a nice composition or something I'm happy with because after walking around on these fells for maybe half an hour or an hour or so, I really wasn't seeing anything that got my attention that made me want to get my camera out, get my tripod out. And then I noticed this tree just over here. This this. This tree with incredibly vibrant yellow leaves. We are at the peak of autumn now. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. It's, it truly is a great day for photography. So I was worried when I wasn't finding anything. Yeah, this, uh, this tree caught my attention because of the vibrancy of it, the color and the fact that it was almost standing alone. Um, simple composition. I framed it up initially and wasn't happy with with the image and how it looks because there was too much distraction, too much coming in the left, too much coming in from the right and I couldn't make the composition balanced. Um, so just by doing a simple thing as applying a one-to-one -one crop ratio in camera, it's non-destructive, it just gives you a preview, um, then it gave me a much better feel for how the image would look as a square or perhaps a four or five. So as soon as I dropped to a square, um, yeah, it just for me it just works. The contrast between the, the background which is in deep shadow and the side light illuminating those yellow leaves. Um, so it was, it was the colour that got my attention really and the simplicity of it. So it's a very straightforward photograph. Uh, once I'd framed the composition, applied the crop, focused on the tree, I've gone for a very very shallow aperture f5.6 and that is to get separation between the tree and the background because it's not about the background. I think shooting trees and shooting single obvious subjects, I don't necessarily want everything pinned sharp. I like that fall off of focus. And that's what I've tried to do here. So, I don't know, first shot of the afternoon. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Maybe I'll get another, maybe I won't. To be honest, the sun's shining. I'm lost in the fells. Who cares? This is a great way to spend an afternoon. How you doing? You're back. I'm back. So that's pretty much it. We got the one photograph of the tree up on the fell and it was really nice. The light was gorgeous. But as we headed down and into the woodland looking for more compositions, the light started to fade. Um, we couldn't find anything worth shooting, but it was just really nice just walking, exploring and just not really knowing where you're going or having much of a plan. Um, didn't result in an image, but a great way to spend the evening nonetheless. So we're going we're gonna to call it now because it's dark, as you can see. Uh, we're going to go to the pub, have some food and then hopefully shoot a nice sunrise tomorrow.
So it's now the following morning and after a reasonable night's sleep in the van a little spot nearby we've woke up to beautifully still conditions it's cold there's a nice layer of frost and you can see we have a beautiful low hanging mist so I've come to uh, an area where we have lots of open space and a few scattered trees and I'm trying to walk around and see if I can pick out compositions um, and at the minute I'm finding it a little bit frustrating if I'm honest because it is stunningly beautiful but I am struggling to find anything to shoot anything that really grabs my attention so uh, yeah I'm gonna keep pushing on and see what we can see but yeah what what a morning absolutely gorgeous So it's a beautiful morning, um, it's almost too nice because I know for a fact that this mist is going to dissipate very quickly, in fact it already seems to be lifting. Um, so I've, I've frantically been running around trying to find a composition. The image I'm shooting now is a nice simple square crop of these trees. There's a group of three or four trees full of character, no leaves on them, very shapely. I'm not including any sky at all in my frame. It's just a square crop of these trees reflected in the water with the mist in the background. Um, and it makes a very, I don't know, compelling atmospheric shot, I suppose you could say. Um, definitely worth shooting. And I'm glad to have found it because it's a beautiful morning. No filters, F11 focusing on the trees, two second timer. And it's a very, very simple image, but quite an effective one. So there seems to be a, a bit of a theme this morning of square crop images of trees with a misty background <laughs> uh, because that's exactly what we have here. After having taken the first shot I was able to relax a bit more and, and take my time and enjoy things and walking along this boardwalk the first one of the first things I noticed was this group of dead trees. They're actually on the riverbank but you can't see the river but they look so uniform all leaning to one side. And I think on any other day, it wouldn't necessarily make for a nice image or a compelling image because the background is like, it's not very nice. There's a road, there's, there's walls and there's a house off to the right. Um, but with all of this mist, the mist simplifies the scene. It hides everything. So you, what you get is instead of an image of, you know, five or six gnarly branches all leaning off to the side with a messy chaotic background where you can't really get that subject separation. Instead you get just the subject and the mist kills off all of the background and all of the distraction. And again, it's, it comes back to my philosophy of keep things as simple as possible. Don't overcomplicate things, make it clear what your subject is. And um, in this case, I think it works quite well. You just have all of the trees uniformed, leaning off to one side, and then a misty background with almost no distraction at all. But yeah, it's a case, it's the long lens again. On a misty day, the long lens really, really is your friend. And picking out compositions um, is a joy and a great exercise to do. So I'm gonna grab this image now whilst the mist is still hanging around. F11 focused on the trees, two second timer, and yeah, simple image, 
and quite effective.